This is The Professionals, a podcast by music business technology and broadcast media technology students on Outcast OCCR Owens Community College Radio. In this series, students will interview industry professionals in their respective fields to help gather an idea of what it's like to work in their industry. Hello, my name is Lucy Bucklew, and today I am joined with Eric Wallach from right here at Owens Community College. So would you like to start off with introducing yourself, telling everyone about your job title? Hello, my name is Eric Wallach. Thanks for having me here, Lucy. Um, I'm currently a professor of music at Owens Community College. I teach classes in popular music. I teach classes in jazz. I teach applied guitar lessons. I run a popular music ensemble. I occasionally teach recording classes and um, I teach fundamentals of music. So could you describe like some of the responsibilities that come with your job? Sure. Um, First and foremost, I have the responsibility of teaching to a number of different learning styles because I have students in my classes from a variety of backgrounds and a variety of uh, experiences. So um, that was a major responsibility and to even continue to learn how to be a better teacher, taking my own continuing education classes and professional development so I can continue to use whatever current skills um, there are so I can help my students. Did you attend college to gain more knowledge or experience to go into this field? Yes, um, I have a master's degree. In fact, the minimum teaching requirement for Owens Community College to be a full-time teacher is that you have to have at least a master's degree. What would you suggest um, students like me to do to reach a professional status? I would say, as a musician, from my own experience and experiences that I've noted of others, the best thing to do is to have a variety of musical skills. Uh, Because, for example, at one point in my life I was working in a music store and I was teaching guitar lessons and I was in a band. None of those things by themselves helped me pay the rent, but all of them combined did. And I could easily and comfortably say, I have a career in music. It just wasn't all in one building, you know, but I mean, that kind of mentality, I think, and that kind of approach to a career in music, perhaps in any of the arts, to be a creative professional, let us say. It's good to have a number of different skills that you can deploy at any given time and sometimes simultaneously. Do you do anything that helps you continue your education now, like doing workshops or doing classes or your own research? I do. Um, I Just uh, during the pandemic, I think a lot of us did this, I took online classes through the Berkeley School of Music. Oh, really? Yep. Cool. And I got to take a class with somebody whose record I own, <laughs> <laughs> a guy named Gary Burton. So that was, yeah, I definitely do that. Um, and I think like a lot of us, I'm still the guy who goes on to YouTube to see what I can learn from other people on YouTube. That's a valid way of learning things, provided you know how to use it and you know how to weed out the yeah. good stuff versus the bad stuff. YouTube can be helpful at it's times. Quite, <laughs> quite a bit. Do you have any future plans that you're working towards right now? My friend uh, Bob and I, we get together every Sunday. He and I have been in bands for a long time. He's also a faculty member out here. Huh. And we get together every Sunday and we work on music. And currently what we're doing is um, we're looking at these old silent films and scoring them making music to these films that had no music originally. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so we've been, we're have been we on our third one now, and we really have a lot of fun doing that. Wow. Yeah, so that's we call it our Sunday church as we get together <laughs> in Bob's basement, where he's got a little studio down there, and we just have a blast doing these things. That's so fun. Definitely. I look forward to it all the time. And uh, I work on my own projects. Currently, I'm writing music for the play that's going to be performed out here, um, and I'm about ready to deliver that to Chloe, the director, um, anytime soon. Hmm. What would you say are some of the pros and cons to this job? Pros, um, all the people that I meet, and all I mean, I literally get to go to school and talk about popular music, talk about how to read music, and then get to play in a band with students. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's a good day at work. I mean, it's (laughs) it's it's pretty good. Um, I'm about to have a week off, like you are, for spring break, and I get my summers off. Um, That's the, always nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm the child of two teachers, so my whole life, the beginning of the year has always been September, not January. It, you know, the, the, yeah. marked around the school year and always having a summer off, so mm-hmm. that's been part of my life cycle. The downside is kind of sometimes the same as the good side in the sense that I get to know students, but then it's at a community college, very quickly they go away. They, they leave past. I, I don't, 
um, I stay in touch with a lot of my students. That's always and I have, Yeah, over yeah. the years. But, you know, and it, it sometimes that's it's kind of sad. You get to, in the ensemble, for example, we've had the ensemble together for a couple semesters now with a lot of the same people. Yeah. Um, but eventually, in a few more semesters, none of those people will be in that ensemble anymore because you'll have all gone on to your yeah. lives. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But other than that, no, not really any downsides. I like coming to work. No downsides you can think of? No. Wow. <laughs> no. I get along well with all my colleagues. Um, I have friends and colleagues in other departments. Um, my my wife is the Vice President of Academic Affairs. I mean, I know everybody here and for a long time. Found the perfect job then. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> have there been other people in the music industry who have inspired you? Absolutely. Um, any number of musicians who are working professionally, um, and even those whose bands I was in that we weren't necessarily big top acts, but I learned a lot from a couple of the bands I was in, and not in necessarily music, but and how to run a band and make money at it, how to be a business person. I had no idea about doing you know quarterly taxes as a as a band doing business, um, travel arrangements, hotel, how to book shows. I learned a lot just from being around people who were doing a lot of that, um, hmm. for sure. Uh, also, musicians that I admire, many of them are also really good teachers that do a lot of workshops and presentations on YouTube or live presentations and do a lot of uh, master classes and workshops to, to share their stuff. And I always think that that's really inspiring. And when I can, I'll try to be involved in those. Were there other careers related to music they ever considered? I considered being an English teacher at one point. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> high school English teacher for, uh, at one point. Uh, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be an airplane pilot. Um, other career paths, I think that it would be really cool to be working in a studio environment as an engineer. Um, I do that on my own, in my own studio. Uh, but it would be nice to be able to engineer for somebody else. Because when you're engineering your own records, it seems like you're, you're giving each of the jobs in the studio less attention than it deserves. Hmm. If you're the musician, but you're also setting up the mics, at that moment you're not worrying about the music. And if you're setting up the mics, but you're also going to be the musician, you're not maybe doing the best job at working, setting up the mics and doing room sounds and stuff like that. Hmm. So it's tough to be the, the, the artist and engineer and producer. It's a lot to tackle at once. Yeah, and, and I, I like music, of course. I like making music, but I also really like engineering. And I would like to be in a studio situation where I could do that. You know, a really big mic collection, a <laughs> couple different rooms, you know, uh, some really cool outboard gear. That I'd be really happy doing that. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to go into doing. Yeah. That's what interests me a lot. Yeah, it's, it's really a great way to geek out. <laughs> What would you say has been your biggest challenge and how did you manage to overcome it? Kind of staying positive. Um, it, there's t times in a musician's life when you're doing, you're working at the store, you're doing private lessons, you're in a band traveling in a van, you know, around the, the Midwest. Mm -hmm. You're doing these different things. Maybe you, you have a part-time teaching job at a community college. Those, that, that was my life for a while. And sometimes any one of those things goes away, all of a sudden things are really scary. Because you're living basically from a collection of paychecks to a collection of paychecks. And if one of those paychecks goes away for a while, like you don't get classes that semester, that could be a real hardship in your yeah. life. And then you have to scrounge something up really quickly. So that was that fear that all it all could fall apart <laughs> without something to fall back on. That was very real. And that's, I think, very real for a lot of people that get into this. Yeah. Um, the advice would be, if there's any way possible to save and put a nest egg somewhere put a put a just in case reserve of money that you promise to not touch until you have to save for a rainy day <laughs> exactly exactly so yeah that was a real experience yeah and i made it you made it yeah and pretty much everybody that was in that boat with me also made it yep is there any final advice that you'd like to give anyone who's considering uh a job in the music industry well a couple points I just made, make sure that you have a reserve of, of money that you can, if at all possible, that should be your first goal is the first monies you get, you're putting some of that money into a fund that is an emergency fund. Because as you're working your way into a career of music and you're doing a number of different things, at the very beginning it's very, 
it's very likely that one of those things won't stay for long. So having a backup plan and having a reserve of finances so that you don't have to, you know, work at a grocery store or something. But if you have to work at the grocery store, do that too. Don't let that stuff discourage you because everyone who has gotten to a place where you think, I'd like to be there, has gone through that. Um, persevere. Persevere. Work, uh, get around other people who are creatives um, in music or in engineering or any kind of place where they are a photographer and um, learn from them. Pick their brain. How did you, you know, survive? Uh, how do you make this happen? How do you do this? Um, and observe and ask. Well, thank you for allowing me the chance to interview you for the podcast. I'm Lucy Bucklew, and this has been my interview with Eric Wallach of Owens Community College. Thank you all for listening. Have a wonderful day. This has been The Professionals Podcast by Music Business Technology and Broadcast Media Technology students. Join us next time on Outcast OCCR Owens Community College Radio.